We're going to be creating a 6x9 grid on the type of paper that you were given. The paper you have is actually something like 8 and almost a half by 11 and almost a half. So first we just want to make sure we're using our ruler correctly. Make sure the zero um, or the end of the ruler is correctly at the edge of the paper. And then you're going to mark the one inch mark on the right hand side like I've done. And then you're going to line them up correctly with the ruler and then make sure that it's really positioned so that they're in the same part of the ruler and then make that straight line through it. If it's not hitting both marks then you're going to make a slanted line. And that first border on the right hand, I'm sorry, it's a left hand side, is going to be a one inch border because we measured one inch. Now we're going to measure six inches um, from the left to the right and mark the, um, the six inch marks in two places and then you're going to go ahead and make a, a straight line through those two points and this should give you your other border but we don't know how big that border is um, it's just whatever's left so we're not measuring from the right hand side of the paper for that one we're just um, measuring six inches across because we're making a six by nine next we're going to be measuring from the bottom of the paper one and a half inches and marking that We're doing the same thing for the bottom as we did for the left side where we have a known measurement which is an inch and a half and then our top border is going to be whatever's left after we um, make our line our nine inch line for the box. I perceive that the marks were slightly different from each other so I'm just checking my work and measuring and now that I'm confident that I have them both at the 9 inch um, margin I'm going to go ahead and finish this and you can see that now I have a 6 by 9 inside um, with unknown borders on the top and right and then 1 inch on the left and 1 and a half inches on the bottom and the interior space is what we are, care most about uh, because we need exact measurements for our 6x9 grid. I'm just making note of these spaces, um, but you do not need to do this because you're going to be putting your grid into the inside and this would be more stuff that you'd have to erase. But I'm just um, writing these notations on here so you can see uh, what we're we're trying to do with our goals here we're trying to create an inside space that's square and regular that's six by nine I sped up this portion of the video for you so you can just see the process of creating the grid uh, you're just gonna mark your one inch marks all the way down and um, as long as you're accurate with those first marks then you can flip your paper and remark the same way um, but sometimes there's if you're using a ruler inaccurately then you can have sort of like asymmetrical um, marks and then when you line them up they're not straight so just be aware of that if you do flip your paper over that way make sure you're using the ruler the same way I'm gonna mark the one inch uh, markings going both directions 
and then I'm going to be able to connect them all and create a final grid. As a final step, you might find it helpful to go ahead and number your boxes so that you can keep track of where you are. Uh, sometimes uh, you don't see that. 